All right, so one of the more damning things about Animal Crossing that we both seem to hate with great fury is just how much the villagers will talk, and especially stupid blathers just going on and on and on and on. But then while we were talking about that, I thought, what if there was a game where you flipped Animal Crossing to where you were actually the villager, and your goal <laughs> was just to talk nonstop to the player character and just try to disrupt their day as much as possible, but instead of it being like Animal Crossing where you're kind of blocked and standing still, that person can kind of move, and so they're trying to get away from you, but the more you talk, and like you, maybe you get combos and stuff, and you can just talk harder at them, and it slows them down to so like the point that maybe they're on the ground like trying to crawl away. Like, I gotta sell these fossils to the store, and you just talk harder, on, and you just talk harder. And they have, like, a stamina meter, and you can just talk them to death. After that person finally gets away from you, it then does some sort of montage about the rest of their life. And, like, the milestones <laughs> that you you made them miss because of your interactions. And it's Or, like, no, so you actually, like, they use, you know, parodies of historical figures. And yeah. you go back in time, kind of like Red Alert style, and you try to, like, prevent oh, these, prevent these, like, prevent evil villains from doing evil things by distracting them in their childhood. Like, <laughs> you know, taking away Hitler's magnifying glass when he's melting ants or something like that. But, like, <laughs> but it's all about distracting these horrible people when they're in, like, childish sh- scenarios and to see if you can save the world. Oh, when you first started saying it, I, I always like to default towards John Wilkes Booth and Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> okay, that would that would be a good intro level. And I was thinking, level. like, John Wilkes Booth is, like, about to creep up on the balcony to shoot Lincoln, and all of a sudden I just saw, like, an animal from Animal Crossing just appear and start talking to him, like, hey, what you doing there? I, you know, this, I got this shirt, and I really don't know what to do with it. If you can find a piece of furniture that'll little... fit into my house, and it just keep going on and on, and he's like, I, I gotta kill the president. <laughs> But you're like just stalling him forever and ever, and at some point the play is over and Lincoln's gone. The, like the theater's empty, <laughs> the janitors are cleaning up. You're still Wilkes, talking to, and him. you're still talking to Wilkes. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get away. He's like, you ruined everything, but he can't <laughs> leave because you're still talking about, you know, the buck catching contest next weekend. Can you play as Blathers? Can it be like Blathers saves the world, like redeem him in some way? <laughs> Blathers, yeah. Blathers back in time. That could be... Yeah, Tom Nook gets a time machine, and then Blathers accidentally goes into it, and you get sent to random levels and that are points in history, and you somehow change history, because Blathers... Except Blathers would be screwed if it happened during the day, so we, we might want a, a character that can stay awake at all times, so... Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think... Oh, no... No, you're Mr. Rossetti. That's who you are. <laughs> or you could, oh man, Rossetti's got more attitude. So yeah, I can see Rossetti stopping a would, bunch of horrible things. <laughs> Rossetti's Adventures in Time, that would be awesome. And he's got a brother too, so his brother could go. It's <laughs> Yeah, I would I'd play as Rossetti. Like he's he's a, he's a sassy individual and uh could finally use his powers for good other than just annoying yeah, me. Just judging people who accidentally turn their games off.